Thanks for stopping and listening. Growing up in the Cascades in the mountains, a small house, uh, part of my chores was to chop firewood. And that was typically an all uh, an around the year deal because the house in which we lived in essentially had electricity, but it didn't have, it didn't have electric heat, it had a heat stove. And that stove had to be fed in order to keep the house warm, especially in the winter time. So chopping wood was my chore. And every morning I'd get up and have to go out to this woodshed that was encased or enclosed with cords of wood that required you to break it down into small pieces. If you've ever chopped wood for firewood, you know, most people buy it nowadays in the city. They buy it, they want to put it in their fireplace. They'd go buy the little pieces of wood from some vendor and they stick it in their fireplace. If you live on the country, well, then you, you know what I'm talking about, about chopping your own wood if you happen to have a wood stove or you want to have a barbecue or a, or a fireplace. But most people nowadays have essential heat. Not so when I was a young boy uh, up in the Pacific Northwest. Some people had air conditioning. A lot of people didn't. Um, but they do now. But anyway, my point here is that um, chopping the wood was a way of being prepared for what was inevitable. The temperature would change, you'd have to have heat and you had to have wood. If you didn't have a fire, you froze. So we, I, had to the chore of making sure that was prepared every day so that the my sisters would all be warm and my, you know, my mom could cook and she'd get up and start the fire, but we had to have kindling, you have to have small pieces of wood and you have to have bigger pieces of wood. The point of all of this is that just like preparing then, we as believers have to prepare now. We know what the end is going to be, and we know that it's going to happen. But in the, inter in, but in the interim, we need to be preparing. We need to be reading the word. We need to be in prayer. We need to be talking to other people and sharing the, the love of Christ. We need to be doing those things that God's word says we need to be doing and being vigilant and waiting and watching. Um, there's a parable about the um, bride um, maids waiting for the bridegroom. Some were prepared, some weren't. Be the prepared ones. Be prepared for what's coming. You see, it, you see the chaos around you, you see the craziness um, and the things that are going on, the instability and all the things. That should encourage you to get into the word, pray, and seek his face, and hear his voice, and act, and be prepared. Be encouraged.